Hi guys, today I'm here a little bit late with my February wrap up. I read four books in February, so let's crack on with it. The first book that I finished in February was the book that I started in October and just finished it in February. And that is a collection of short stories which is called Under My Hat, Tales from the Cauldron by a bunch of different authors. It is a short story collection all about witches, that's why I started in October. And I gave this one 2.5 stars. It was... Some of the stories were interesting, some of them were not as good. First half of the book I was literally struggling to get through the book because most of the stories were kind of boring, some of them were really weird. But um, yeah, some of them were good. I liked The Carved Forest by Tim Pratt. I liked um, Great Grandmother in the Cellar by Peter S. Beagle. And others I can't really remember so it was a little bit disappointing but some of the stories were good. Next book that I finished is Before Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. A tiny little book, it is a Japanese bestseller apparently and I'm just gonna read you the blurb of the book. In a small back alley in Tokyo there is a cafe which has been serving carefully brewed coffee for more than 100 years but this coffee shop offers its customers a unique experience, the chance to travel back in time. In Before the Coffee Gets Cold, we meet four visitors, each of whom is hoping to make use of the cafe's time-travelling offer. In order to confront the lover who left them, receive a lesson from their husband whose memory has begun to fade, see their sister one last time, and meet the daughter they never got the chance to know. But the journey into the past does not come without risks. Customers must sit in a particular seat, they cannot leave the cafe and finally they must return to the present before the coffee gets cold. I fell in love with this book. I gave it 4.5 stars but now I'm thinking maybe we should give it 5 stars. It is set in like 4 parts but it is all the same story as in 4 different stories but within one story if that makes any sense. And the atmosphere of the book is really immersive. Like now thinking about this book I really remember everything that happened and it brings me good memories, good feelings, warm feelings. So I would say it's a really cosy book. It deals with some heavy topics as well. So keep that in mind if you're interested in this one. It deals with sad topics at times and I, it made me cry. In two stories I cried a lot. <laughs> so I really did love this book. It was so good. Absolutely wonderful. Next one is The Travelling Cat Chronicles by Hira Arakawa. This has now officially joined the list of my favourite books of all time. Absolutely fell in love with this book. This is a five star book with no doubts whatsoever, honestly. So in this book we follow our main character who goes on a trip to visit three different friends and he's going in a silver van with his cat. The cat doesn't know why they're going there and the their owner won't tell us. So at times this book is told from a perspective of a cat, which you sometimes would think it's a little bit silly, but no, it's it's honestly beautiful. Again, it's sad at times. I cried in this book so many times, it's unbelievable, but it is so beautiful. It is so heartwarming. It is just, the atmosphere of the book again is absolutely, oh my God, honestly, it is one of the best books I've ever read. No doubt about that at all absolutely fell in love with it. The perspective of a cat is so funny at times. I fell in love with our main character. He's absolutely great. The relationship between the, between the cat and the owner, oh my god, <laughs> this is the sweetest thing ever and it is also sad like I said the book but oh my god, it is so, so good. Highly recommend this book. I see now why it has such high ratings. I'm kind of in a hurry so I'm going to talk about the last book for a little bit, just for a little bit. So the last book that I finished is The Binding by Bridget Collins and this one was a bit of a disappointment. I give this one 2.5 stars. So in this book we follow our main character who goes to be an apprentice to become a binder which means that he can bind people's memories into a book and then one day he discovers a book with his name on it. So you'd think in this book The Binding takes the biggest amount of story. It doesn't. It's set in three parts. The first part was the best one when he goes to see that old lady. He lives in her house. He starts to learn different things about the binding and it's absolutely wonderful. The first part was the best one. 
second part turns into a slow burning romance and it's the biggest part of the book so most of the book was about that and the third part changes perspective and I hated the character in whose head we were in the third part and the third part was just dragged out and it was pain to read in my opinion at least. I wasn't a huge fan of this book, I felt like it was completely dragged out and you would think the binding, like I said, is going to be about the binding, but no, this book is not about the binding. He bound one person by accident in this book and that is it. I don't think this book uh, delivered what it was supposed to in my opinion, so I was really disappointed in this one. So yeah, in short, that's all of my thoughts on the books that I have read in the month of February. If you want me to film any reviews on the books that I just mentioned, leave them in the comments below. I might do that because I've not done a video review for a very long time. <laughs> I'm really out of breath, I don't know why. If you've read any of these books that I just mentioned, let me know in the comments down below or, what, or tell me what was your favourite book of February. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye!